I do have two poems for you tonight, so just bear with me. And I haven't like even practiced either of these yet, so forgive me. Don't worry. Alright. Smoke. It catches the edge of your curtains. I am focusing on the light seeping into your room. Your gray painted walls are like the bottom of a fishbowl. An empty 150 gallon tank. My body has fallen to the bottom of my reach when unrequited and I grasp the edge of the glass with broken fingers. Instead looking down to the millions of miles between me and my feet and you are at the edge of where I stand and who I am and I don't know who taught you to speak bullets without considering the exit wound but the impact left dents in my ribs. I wish I could convince myself to open my eyes, but I see stars cut through desert skies and fade and hope you aren't as fleeting. A feeling in my gut that says to keep them shut. Oh, sorry. Okay. A feeling in my gut that says to keep them shut. I shout into empty glass tanks from the cathedrals of my mouth, rooms that carry sound like empty caves just to prove you aren't the only one who can fill a borrowed space, wishing you could occupy the space next to me. A dented rib I borrowed from Adam. I am not even made of my own parts. Parts of me that fall from your lips when you spill out your guts. I am not a surgeon. I am not a savior. I am not a rib molded at the hands of God. I do not feel holy. And I am laying in your bed waiting for the gravity to reverse and fall into something much bigger than myself and I wonder if that's what it feels like to die but this morning I woke up and I wanted to live and maybe that's what it feels like to die. Ash. I am sitting in your gray painted room. It is like the ocean. I am focused on the light seeping in through waves of salt solution and maybe this is what it feels like to breathe or to be. I will wake up if this is what it feels like to live then in your gray painted room. Give me the morning. Mm.